done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people's eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. And usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people's eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised... I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. No. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... 
You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too. Which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Lewis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date. I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> But I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh... What would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Hmm, I think I prefer a good sense of humor. All right, I see you. You got me this time. <sighs> if only I knew someone with one of those. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. How about to bringing everyone home? Yeah, I think I prefer that one too. <sighs> so, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay.
Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. We are all very surprised. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Oh, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. 
Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Um, that pretty much describes everyone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the most mild-mannered troubled youth you've ever met. I never curse. He doesn't. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I like all kind of different music, I think. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. The person you are right now is all that matters to me. Whatever bad things you did in the past, that's not you anymore. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. We? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. But what if I can't? I'm so scared for my friends, Lee. Scared that I'll... I'll let them down. It's normal to be scared. Hell, it'd be strange if you weren't. But you can't let it get to you. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> You have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. 
You're living in one that's changed completely. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. Keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ben, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Listen, Clementine, I need to talk to you about AJ. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age, in that time I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually I became the cause of it. 
weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. It doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. I just, I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change, not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Louis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. What if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I... I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go... 
Look in another direction. It's ready. Ugh. Oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Walker! Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming!
We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said they didn't hurt anyone. We'll have to hope she told the truth. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Minerva, focus. Brother, short, scarred face. See, he? he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Get. Out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just... just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother. And run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. 
violent. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Come on! They're just trying to scare you. I'm afraid too, but we can't let them get into our heads. I'm not afraid. I'm realistic. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? <sighs> We're not moving yet. So, at least we've got some time. I guess. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. you doing don't I promise you it ain't worth it step back she awake yes ma'am good I'll take it from here Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. 
Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is... I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Minnie! You... What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her. You people are fucking sick. Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. 
kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 please! Go ahead! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! 